started law enforcement over 25 years ago, um, it was hard to get into a good department. You know, there was everybody, everybody wanted to get into law enforcement. I mean, you had, you know, 100 to 200 people to pick from, and that's no longer the case. There isn't a pool to pick from when it comes to people wanting to go into this profession. So one of the things that we have to do is try to sponsor people from the community and one of the steps that we've done is that we try to hire within. People that have already worked here in a different department like corrections or as a reserve deputy or courthouse security or marine deputy, we already know the work ethics that they do, we know that they're a good individual, and now we're expanding on that by providing them with the training to, to advance their career to get into a different position. You know, I can't say enough things but positive stuff when it comes to Michigan Works and the relationship that we've had and giving us the opportunity to be able to accomplish this sponsorship. Uh, something that we've tried to do, but it's not always popular when it comes to being provided the money to be able to do it. Um, we have to work with budgets. You know, every county has you know their budgets that they work with. Some have more money, some have less money. Um, so anytime that we're going to, to try to send somebody through more training or through a police academy, we have to dip into that. And it usually isn't a uh, easy expense or something that we can spend the money on. To further complicate that, if somebody goes into the police academy, uh, we just can't sponsor somebody and say, you know, you have to pay for that and, you know, uh, and then we don't, we're not on the dime with that. The law specifically says that if we sponsor somebody to go through the academy, we have to pay for their tuition and we have to pay for uh, their salary when they're doing that. So um, there's, there's a lot of moving parts with this and uh, Michigan Works has been able to give us the opportunity to have that money to send somebody that generally we wouldn't have the option to do so. Uh, I've always wanted to be in law enforcement. I remember when I was a little kid um, chasing the police around and watching them uh, uh, the police cars go by. My brother's in law enforcement. He's an under sheriff out in Washington State. And uh, I did quite a few ride-alongs with him uh, throughout the years. And then once I began as the res a reserve deputy for Lake County, it really, really sparked my interest in deciding that, you know, this is a, this is a career that I'd actually love to participate in and be a part of. Everything just fell into place the way it was supposed to. Um, everyone here in the Baldwin office did fantastic. Amanda and Rachel did uh, an amazing job. Um, they met with me when it was convenient for me to meet with them. Uh, they followed up with me constantly, making sure that every, all of my needs were being met. Um, they did a fantastic job. As soon as we started getting sponsorship stuff from Michigan Works, uh, corrections officers were starting to go to the academy. Next thing you know, I got more people coming into the door saying, hey, uh, I want to work corrections. Just, you know, you don't want to hear that, you know, because the majority of the time they see these officers out on the road, that's all they see is road officers. But now they're, they're hearing that, hey, this is a gateway. If I go to corrections, I do a really good job, I show up on time, and I be the best employee that I can be, I might have a shot at the river. And the only way that we can give that shot, because we're not budgeted for that, is Michigan Works. You know, so we send them over to Michigan Works. They, they, they fill out the information that they need, get qualified, and then they go to the academy. And it helps tremendously because we would never be able to afford to do that. This was never budgeted ever before. We couldn't even think about that. And to have three applicants uh, get uh, financed through Michigan Works to go to the academy, priceless because I don't have those three people coming in here looking for a job right now. It's just not happening. And when you go to these academies, they may be filled, filled and if they are filled, they're filled with people that are already being sponsored. And they're, normally you get sponsored from bigger departments that have a bigger budget than we have. So for a small department, it is crucial that uh, Michigan Works uh, helps us out. We wouldn't be able to do what we do. West Shore was a phenomenal uh, academy. It was very, very hands-on. I would say almost all of our professors, all of our instructors were former law enforcement or current law enforcement. Um, we even had a prosecuting attorney that was our law, law professor and uh, they all did a phenomenal job. So everything was hands-on, uh, very, very detail-oriented um, and they just did a fantastic job of really giving us certain experiences and scenarios that were real-world uh, scenarios which were great. 
I'm forever grateful that I took the leap. One thing that we try to do at the Lake County Sheriff's Office is to focus on community policing. The better relationship that we have with the community, the better that we're able to do our job. Um, the days of, you know, most of the time when somebody has contact with law enforcement is not always a positive thing. It's usually a negative thing when it comes to writing a citation, taking somebody to jail, responding to a complaint. It's usually not at somebody's highest point. So one thing that we do in the new generation of law enforcement is that we have to be more like counselors and try to reach people on not just a negative situation but in a positive light. Some of the things that we do, we do a lot of charity functions, we do a lot of community events. Uh, we try to get the input from the community and hear what the community wants. And then what we do with that is that we try to incorporate that into our platform when it comes to law enforcement. And that's something that we've done for several years now. And, and you can tell when it comes to the community that uh, we have improved that relations. And that's something we have to do. People talk about police reform. I talk about police improvement. How can we do our job better? And that's one thing that we're focusing on. What has been the best part of your new career? The community. Uh, it's interacting with everyone. Uh, I, I believe Sheriff Martin said this earlier as, you know, this department's all about community policing and it really is interacting with the community and, you know, we have a tough job. We have to enforce the law and protect the Constitution, so that's very, very important, but at the same time we are, we are humans and we have to humanize ourselves with other individuals and they're going through a rough situation 99.9% .9 of the time that we interact with them and we have to be empathetic and understanding but at the same time we have to enforce the law so um, it's really really getting us those community relationships going which has been great